Happy Thursday. Happy Throwback Thursday, right here on So Fancy. Um, I have an awesome new little trick for you. It's hard to come up with new things to do these days. We haven't had a new uh, silhouette machine in a while. So, But we've got lots of new gadgets and fun toys. And one of them that everyone's loving is the foil quill, which can add uh, foil to all kinds of things, from paper to uh, vinyl to le faux leather, all kinds of things. So today I thought we would do a little printing cut or for those of you on Cricut, you can do the same thing. I forget what you guys call it. Um, print, then cut, or cut, cut after front. I forget. Anyway, so this, as you can see, we have some foil around this cute little deer. This design is from uh, today's Throwback Thursday, which is the Christmas in July um, bundle, which is back today only. So if you want to grab it, go get it, because it won't be back again. It's out of retirement. So I've been playing with this all morning. Um, here's another one. I did this design as well. Isn't that pretty? So because you can't or well you can fill with the foil quill. However, it takes a lot of um, you know, uh, you have to use the sketch inset or you know different things little hacks. This is much much faster and if you want multiple colors when you print and cut like we did here and just add some gold foil accents or different color foil accents this is an awesome way to do it. So the trick is actually printing cut, okay? So I have, I'm gonna put this one on the floor. Bye-bye. Um, this is what we are going to do. This is the, obviously the same design that I already did. You can see no foil on there yet. It's already been printed, okay? All the cut lines are ready. And I'm gonna have a full tutorial on how to do this on the blog soon. Um, but obviously we're doing this with a silhouette cameo. Again, same thing can be done with the other uh, machine. So I'm going to tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing here. All right. So typically when you do a printing cut, the blade is what's going to cut around the where the cut line is. Instead, I have set the cut line so it only cuts, or in this case, foils around the deer head here. And it's going to add that pretty little gold accent. So let's say maybe you don't want the deer to have the gold. You want the Merry Christmas. You can just change the cut line and that will determine where you put the gold foil. Okay? Alright, so let's pull you down here so you can see what's going on. Now, I need to put my paper right on my cutting mat. Okay? So, this is my shim. It's just a piece of chipboard, but when you're doing paper with a foil quill, it's a great idea to have this because it helps to um, add pressure. So I just make sure that it's right under where I'm going to foil, okay? So that's that. And the nice thing is it still is sticky all the way, actually, I'm going to do it this way. You want to make sure that it's still sticky around the other areas of the top surface mat so that way you have a border where your paper can still stick or whatever material you're using i don't use the shim for any material except paper okay all right so now i have my foil sheet of foil obviously i don't need this much so i'm going to trim it down a little bit those of you who have not um, gotten a foil quill yet it will work on all the cutting machines okay it comes with adapters for the silhouette um, scanning cut, Sizzix, and the Cricut. So you can, we can all play with this fun little machine. Okay, so now this is the part where you have to tape the foil down, okay? So you've got to tape it on all the sides so it sticks. Now, it's very important that you make sure that your foil is not covering any of your registration marks or, your, or you will end up uh, with a registration mark failure, okay? Um, also, try to make sure, and this is not just with the print and cuts, but make sure that your foil is pretty taut while you're putting it on there. All right, you don't want wrinkles if you can help it, okay? Because where you have wrinkles, that's where uh, you'll end up getting missed spots for um, when it's cut. Okay, so now, let's do over here, I'm going to load this in just like I would a regular printing cut, okay? So on my in my software, I'll show you what I have here. Um, in my software, I have two cut lines. 
this red cut line that you see here, that's what's going to foil. The blue is what's going to cut with my um, blade, okay? And we're gonna cut out so it's gonna end up being the card, all right? Now, what did I just, this thing, you have to be so close that one of my, one of my only gripes with the foil quill is that it only has a two foot cord and it has to be plugged in in order to have heat. And so you need to have, um, don't plug it into your machine. You need to have some kind of um, extension cord or something that it can plug into and it needs to be pretty close. And that's one thing that I just uh, have a little trouble with. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is foil. So I'm gonna send that through. I'm just sending it now, all right? Again, it's finding those registration marks just like you would on a regular printing cut. Now, I turned off the cut line so that I have time to remove the foil before the cutting begins, okay? So you'll see, um, you could also put a pause in there. In this version of Silhouette Studio, the pause is um, not working correctly. So I had to turn off the cut lines for the actual um, card itself, but you'll see it'll still get that. So, if you're just joining us, hello, we are adding um, foil to this fun little design. This and also this other one, uh, these are both from the Christmas in July bundle. These are the throwback bundle today. So it's only sticking around today. It's back out of retirement uh, for today only. And I just love showing you guys this kind of stuff that there's a ton of different ways you can always use these designs. So this I feel like would be a really fun, obviously a little Christmas card right uh, but you could make tags with these designs you could make uh you could cut it on heat transfer and vinyl and make shirts you could uh put it on a bag all kinds of you know whatever you want to do reverse canvas stencils our designs are easy to use in a lot of different ways all right let's see if i can get you any closer so you can kind of see what's happening i also threw the link up there for those of you who are interested haven't gotten a foil quill or if you're interested in it um, this is from swing design um, they have a huge assortment of the foil quill accessories along with obviously the kit it's um, I think it's 72 or 79 I can't okay so what's happened so far you can see that the deer has been foiled now I'm going to remove the tape and the foil before I cut out my card, okay? And this way, it doesn't cut through the foil, and then you can preserve this piece of foil if you want to reuse on something else. Okay, so there, we've got that. Now, back in my software, I'm just gonna change the cut lines. I'm gonna flip the cut lines. So these are now um, the blue, which I had blue previously, as the outline of the card, okay? and the perforated line down the middle. So now I'm going to send that. And I'm actually also going to unplug my quill. So you'll see, did you, oh no, oh no, 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 Okay, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not the only, see this is what happened here, the cord got. Okay, all right, hold on, let's see. Well, we can save this, watch. Don't worry. The reason that we are able to save this, I'm going to take that out completely, is because of the registration mark. So it'll still cut exactly how we want it. So I'm not worried. Okay? Don't worry. I'm not worried. You don't be worried. All right. Send. Anyway, what I'm trying to say was I unplug the quill so it's not heated anymore. You don't want to keep it um, heated if you don't have to. Okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Obviously, this is a multiple step process. This is a rather advanced technique, but it is definitely something that's doable. Like I said, I'll throw um, a blog post with step-by-step -step, um, tips and you know how to do this on Silhouette School blog in the next week or so. In the meantime, I already have a couple of intro to the foil quill tutorials on there that you can check out. Okay. All right, now, 
going to unload. Before I take it off there, I like to see if it cut. This one could probably use another cut through, but I think I can just peel it off there. Actually, let's send it through just one more time while we have it. Trim off the, I don't want to pull it. worth it. If you're still hanging in there with me, it's worth it. I promise. I'm just so excited about all the different things that you can do with the foil quill because you can put the foil on so many different materials. Anything that can be run through the silhouette or your Cricut or, you know, whatever machine you're using, you can put, um, you can use a foil quill with. All right, so here is our um, design and then I'm just gonna fold and now you've got your card okay so can you see there you go so isn't that fun and it's really pretty the foil on there looks gorgeous now like I said this is a great way to add accents or if you have a um, font or something that you just want to highlight and you can use the foil quill comes with three different tips if you get the kit this design over here, I actually use the bold tip. You can see how bold that gold foil is. This one, I'm using the standard. That's, you know, like the medium size, um, the medium size tip, all right? So all these designs, well, these two designs I just showed you, along with about 80 other ones, all part of the Throwback Thursday bundle, Christmas in July. So grab it today. Grab it because it's not going to be around tomorrow. Um, Someone, Susan, hi Susan, is saying it's rather confusing. Yes, this is a definitely a multi-step process. You have to understand print and cut. You have to understand how the foil quill works. You have to understand uh, where to place the foil. You have to understand how to change the cut lines. It's definitely an advanced technique, but not something that anybody wouldn't be able to do with a little bit of practice, okay? All right, guys, I love showing you guys different ways you can use um, our cut files and tools and gadgets and different things like that. So hopefully you'll experiment with it, and I'm sure as we all do with the quill, we'll come up with even more ideas for how we can make some really pretty fun stuff.